Hello, I'm Rebecca Vivian from the University of Adelaide presenting the Coffee Barista Assistant assignment for CS1 students on behalf of my colleagues. This assignment development was led by Rita Garcia, who has just undertaken her PhD in CS education exploring aspects of assignment design, scaffolding learners and CS education pedagogy. This assignment all started with a discussion between Rita and Eva. Eva was describing an approach to making coffee that sounded like a great unplugged activity, which they decided to run with for an assignment. It's also a familiar activity we use in our primary student CS education activities, where we have students designing algorithms for a robot to make a sandwich. The assignment asks students to create an application for a cafe to help baristas create coffee for a customer. Their program is to take the customer's request and produce a set of instructions for the barista to make the coffee. With the assignment are a set of specifications and requirements. We know there are many different variations of coffee, cappuccino, americano, espresso, with milk, without milk, or even soy or almond milk. This provides lots of opportunity for variation. In this activity, students practice variables, integers, conditionals, loops, functions, and lists. The assignment includes guidance on the coffee making process with variations and hints for students. This activity could be done in pairs, groups, or individually. It's expected to take around two to three hours depending on how you use the assignment. Reader's thesis examined scaffolding techniques for students in solving programming assignments. With this in mind, the coffee assignment includes an unplugged activity option that instructors can choose to run. Students undertake a design activity that describes the workflow for taking the customer's coffee order using experience to inform design. This supports students in their transition to implement a solution with programming. Another aspect of Reader's PhD work was to look at good assignment design practices. The assignment is written using a multi-layer educational design pattern. On the next slide, I'll show you what we mean by this. Here we have an overview of the assignment, and I don't expect you can see it, but rather I want to talk through and highlight some core sections of how the assignment design pattern helps students understand the programming problem. The layout is very deliberate, and the goal is that instructors can add or reduce the detail in the assignment to suit their students and their learning goals. To start, the assignment provides a context, it explicitly identifies the programming constructs students are expected to use and the learning objectives. Next, we have the program description. This is a detailed description of what is required with bullet points, identifying requirements and specifications that the student is to consider in their design and how the program is expected to function. For example, it requests that students have the customer enter the type of coffee they want, with a specific list of coffee types the customer is to select from. If the customer then incorrectly types a coffee order or requests an order that's not on that list, they are asked to have their program respond with a specific phrase. The example here is highly scaffolded. In the assignment, you might like to remove requirements and allow students to consider these aspects themselves, depending on their level of experience in programming and knowledge of the topic. The assignment also includes hints. For example, that they don't need to check for a character case sensitivity, as well as a link to advice around what coffee types look like to help them in designing their menu. The assignment description is in HTML and the solution is provided in Python. On the screen here, the green box, we have an example of what a solution might look like. There are examples of solutions available in the resources. There are possible extensions and alterations for this activity. For example, the instructor can present a similar problem with different requirements. The assignment could request that the student also creates a complementary visual representation or a more visually interactive solution, drawing on user interface design principles. It could involve code refactoring, for example, looking for patterns and constructing methods. Some of the benefits of using this assignment include 
Ordering hot drinks such as coffee at a cafe is a familiar experience to most students, building on their prior knowledge. There are unplugged and plugged activity options, scaffolding learners in design and implementation as well as depending on your access to technology. Students can practice good design processes by creating designs, for example using flowcharts or pseudocode in the unplugged activity as a precursor before jumping into programming. The assignment is presented using a multi-layer educational design pattern which allows instructors to add or remove layers of detail, it supports students in their problem solving processes, and it can provide hints for students to help them in their learning and understanding of the problem. There are also many ways that you can change the context of the activity, such as making a hot dog or another cold or hot drink combination. We hope you enjoy using the assignment. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you please contact our assignment lead, Rita Garcia at rita.garcia at adelaide.edu.au or myself, Rebecca Vivian at rebecca.vivian at adelaide.edu.au. Thank you.